Hey everyone, in this video I will demonstrate how the map function works in Integromat and how you can use it to map an array's element with a given key. Before we begin, let me explain how the map function works and what purpose it serves. The map function is an array function that can be used in order to filter through an array of data and return a new primitive array of values. Let's break down this function step by step so you can better understand how the filtering works. The first parameter that this function takes is the array you want to filter. The second parameter is the key which defines the type of values you're searching for and want to retrieve from the array once it is filtered. The third parameter is the key you want to filter out the array by. The fourth parameter defines the value that the entries you filter need to have in order to be accepted. Now let's see this in action with the scenario I created. It begins with an HTTP request module that triggers at the interval specified and retrieves data that can be filtered. The data is retrieved from a URL which is a sample API endpoint that returns a list with employees in a fictional company. To obtain this data using the HTTP module, I will paste the URL here and select get as the request method. As the method name suggests, get is used to retrieve data from a particular API endpoint. The last thing I need to do is make sure that the response from the get request is parsed. What this means is that the data I will receive from the request, which will be in JSON format, will be converted to a more Integromat friendly format, which can then be recognized by other modules. I can now execute the HTTP request module in order to retrieve the data from the API endpoint and make sure everything works fine up until this point. I can now click on the bubble icon in order to view the data I retrieved from the HTTP request. Here's the input of the request made and here's the output of the request. The important part of the output is the data you're able to retrieve, which can be seen right here. The HTTP module is used as an example here to retrieve the data in this scenario. However, there are various other modules that can be used depending on your specific use case. As you can see, the data is organized in an array and each entry in the array is a collection of data. Each collection represents an employee and has all the data associated with them. This employee in the collection has an ID equal to one and his name is Tiger Nixon. His salary is 320,800 and his age is 61. A profile image is not included in the data I received. As you can see, the data for this employee is different. As you can imagine, the data you're inputting in your scenario might contain thousands of array entries, so it is important to have a way to filter through those entries and extract the data you're interested in. Let's see how we can achieve this using the map function. I'm going to add a set variable module so I can create a new data variable with the data extracted using the map function. Here, I need to define the variable name, which is going to be a unique name for the data I want to extract. For this example, let's try to extract the name of the employees who are 30 years old. I'm going to name my variable employees age 30. And now it is time to enter the variable. This is where you're going to use the map array function in order to filter the data array and extract the data you want. You begin by typing map. As you have seen earlier, the first parameter you assign to the map function is your complex array. In this case, this will be the array of data I have received from the HTTP module. You now need to enter your second parameter, which will be the key that defines the type of values you're searching for and want to retrieve from the array. Since the values I want to retrieve are employee names, I will type employee name, which is the label for these values in the data array. The third parameter is the filtering key, which is the key or variable name you want to filter your array by. In this case, I want to filter the array by the age of the employee. I therefore type employee age. Finally, the fourth parameter is going to define the value that the entries you filter need to have in order to be accepted and returned in your search. 
I'm searching for employees that are 30 years old, so I need to type 30. It's now time to execute the scenario to test it. The scenario executed successfully, so let's take a look at the output. As you can see, the employee age 30 array, which has been created, now has two employee names in it, which are both 30 years old. This is correct. Now let's take a look at another example. What if I want to find the salary of a specific employee? I'm going to change the name of the variable to Tiger Nixon salary. This is an employee in my data array and I want to find his salary. Now let's construct the formula. I will use the map function once again. As you recall, the first parameter that you assign to the map function is the complex array. The second parameter will be the key that defines the type of values you're searching for and want to retrieve from the array. Since the value I want to retrieve is employee salary, then I need to type employee salary, which is the label for these values in the data array. The third parameter is the filtering key, which is the key or variable name. In this case, it's the employee's name. Let's search for the employee called Tiger Nixon. Now let's execute this scenario again. The scenario executed successfully, so let's take a look at the output of the set variable module. As you can see, one result has been retrieved and this is the salary of the employee named Tiger Nixon. And that concludes this video lesson. I hope you found it useful and you're now more familiar with how the map array function works inside Integromat. Thanks for watching and happy automating.